Good morning ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages and welcome to an impromptu vlog from one man and his boat. It is Thursday the 8th of December. Let me double check that. <laughs> yes, Thursday the 8th of December thankfully. <laughs> uh, and winter is here. I'll give you a quick pan round and show you. Ooh. We have snow. And of course, uh, this is the time, this weekend, actually, we're going up to collect our daughter for the Christmas period. Uh, she's coming back on the 10th, and she's not going back to the 20th of January, so, yeah. Uh, Aberdeenshire's getting battered with snow, the west side's getting battered with snow, and there's a slight slither all the way to Inverness that's no got snow, so Lindsay and I are hoping it's going to stay that way until we collect our daughter, that's for sure. Anyway guys, what, what am I blathering about, right? Uh, when we're not at sea and fishermen are not repairing gear and they're not making new gear, what do we do? Well, it's usually an admin chase. Now, <clears throat> uh, what I've been getting up to is quite a lot of things actually. Very recently I was servicing the boat. And I was thinking, Wait a minute, MCA like a lot of paperwork and they like to make a job for themselves and I've not got anything written down about uh, the services that I've done on the boat. So now, I've got a nice little book all sort of do with details uh, exactly, exactly, because you know what they're like with exactly's, exactly what I've done on the engine services. Uh, that's always handy to have. I would like to do that online so I've got a, an online copy. Uh, what else do we have to do? Well once a year um, you've got to apply to your harbour to uh, apply for a mooring. Uh, so this all had to be sorted out. Uh, I've still got to wait for insurance but that doesn't happen to the end of the year because they like to make sure that every single boat's insured in the harbour and that the correct boat is going into their harbour. Now what else? Oh God, I told you, admin nightmare. Um, in fact, I'll tell you about what I've been up to uh, very recently uh, in a second. Yes, I'm rabbiting on. Don't worry, it's not going to all be about rabbiting on. Right, here we go guys. <coughs> ah, right, I'll cover up that stuff because that's quite important. Oh, look at that. Can I see okay? There we go. Uh, there we are. Right. Every five years, you've got to reapply for your skipper's ticket. So, as usual, mere bum for that. Loads of pages. Uh, so I have to reapply for that. That's getting done very soon. Uh, I've got to go and get a passport size photograph to take, so that's why that's not actually put an envelope and put away yet. Uh, and talking of that, I've recently, just just Sunday there, uh, I've done my sea survival course. Now unfortunately I didn't have time to film it because I was actually on the course itself. And don't worry, we will be doing something on courses etc etc. And I found it difficult. I don't know if it's because I'm getting aid, more aged now, or what's going on if I'm thinking on my own mortality a bit more but the last time I'd done this course I was fine I was eager I was oh just jump in no bother at all see this time I hated being in the water don't know why I hated it and I think it's all to do with the Lindsay B believe it or not why is that because I think the Lindsay B is an absolutely outstanding boat and I hope I'll never touch wood I shall never be in that water. Um, first thing on sea survival, never get in the water unless you really, really have to. Uh, because A, it'll, you'll keep your heat a lot longer and your survivability is like 100% near enough compared to in the water, you're half in your lifetime. You're half in the time that you can get rescued, at least. So, yeah, I was a bit... I'm not going to say scared, but more wary about being in the water. 
I did not like it one bit, I really didn't. So, I'm making sure that all our life saving equipment is uh, up to standard, it's uh, all been serviced. Uh, that you should do that anyway, you should do that anyway guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm just double checking everything, I've been uh, checking the, the PLB, the personal location beacon and stuff like that because it seriously got my head thinking like, especially at this time of year, if you go in that water with the temperatures being this cold, you're talking, oh, 15 minutes, maybe more, just just more than the but you're not going to last long, so, yeah, quite scary, quite scary indeed, right, anyway guys, I've slavered on enough for this, uh, sorry, introduction, but uh, I'll catch up with you in a wee bit once we're up to date with everything, alright? Right guys, we're at our local supermarket and I went and got my lovely picture taken. Oh, look at that, Escape Convict Barry. <laughs> oh, the things you've got to do, eh? just to keep the ins and offices happy. Anyway, we need to get it all put on here. All oh, the extra paperwork, they actually for a feedback form as well. Oh, honestly, I could tell them a thing or two about feedback. I never bloody listen anyway. Didn't even get started on that MCA. Yeah, I'll probably go end up in trouble with my next inspection, ain't I? Just like the poor Ashley and the female fisherman and her MCA inspection. Ooh. Right. So at least that can now be posted. We'll hopefully get that after the year. And I'll keep them happy because my Actual old one, my old one, um, ran out at the end of November uh, and I was in the process of uh, doing refreshing courses, however, that's when I took the Covid and I couldn't do two of the courses that I needed to uh, qualify for the new skipper's ticket. So I've now done the courses, uh, everything's all ticked in the right boxes and we're good to go. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to tell you, for the people that don't know, exactly what courses you need to become a skipper. It's written on the back, handily enough. Oh there, I'll read them out to you. You've got to do basic sea uh, sorry, basic uh, safety awareness, basic sea survival, basic firefighting, basic first aid, uh, bridge watchkeeping, engine room watchkeeping, intermediate stability course, and GMDSS short range radio certificate. So there you go guys, that's what we've all done. And yes, I have refreshed them all because if you get a staff inspection for the MCE, at least I've got fresh tickets to say, there you go. I'm not joking my piles like that because of all the courses I've done over the years. I say it's absolutely madness, it really is. Nothing changes, it's the same courses. Anyway, right, I'm gonna wait to do my shopping, then we're gonna get them posted to the relevant places and we're going to go and check the boat. Are you coming along or uh, are you bored already and you're going to switch over to another channel? <laughs> Morning Derek. Hi guys. Right, we're on our way to post skipper's ticket now. Uh, looks like Dunbar's got snow as well. Mm. Yeah, you've got to go right up the high street to post your letters. Here we go. Done. Right, what I've got to do now is pay for it online. Hi mate. Uh, pay for it online. Uh, it's an admin fee of £10. Uh, they should be paying me the £10 because they get to see my face for free. <laughs> uh, right, so next step is we're going down to see Fiona or Harbour Master to hand in the mooring application. And then we can go and check our lovely boat. Hey, right, I'll see you down there guys. Right guys, we're down the harbour and we're going to post our application form. Uh, I don't think Fiona will be in at this time of day. In fact, no this time of day, it's absolutely freezing down here. I mean even Dunbar's got snow and that's a rarity. <laughs> Aye, have a look at all the wreckage. We'll have a closer look later on but uh, uh, a lot of the guys are really pummeled after that easterly that we just had. I mean, look at that creel. 
There's not much I can do with that. Um, we're still um, beating the storms by the way, the storms are still rolling in left, right and centre and to be honest with you, I don't know why I'm working the winter, I really don't but eh, it is what it is eh, it is what it is Oh, that's another thing, I went and checked out the prices of rope for our new fleets that we're going to be building eh, and the vlogs are coming soon Oh, wait a minute, somebody might be in uh, good morning guys, how are we doing? I hope you don't mind being on camera. <laughs> hey, oh, that's okay, that's okay. I saw a doorbell. Hey! <laughs> and a very handsome doorbell. She has two here. Hey, I just want to add in my mooring application, Fiona. Um, the only thing is, is my uh, insurance. The Usually it's the end of December, beginning of January when Sunderland Marine insure me. So if I give you the one that I've got now, it's the same one as you got last year. So just I'll hand it in as soon as, as it comes in, if that's okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank excellent, you so much. excellent. No Thank problem. You are, you, are you getting many in? Yes. Ooh. So I'm sitting here fighting with the blooming printer as you know. <laughs> they come in, but they all come in different file attachment types. Ah, yeah, so yeah. My computer can't go back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got the same deal with all this stuff, honestly. It's one yeah. yeah. absolute nightmare. The woman, uh, my laptop's about 10 years old and my woman program's about three years old and yeah, yeah. it's all out of date already. Yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. So anyway, I'm doing a little vlog to show everybody exactly what, who, uh, who does what and when we're around the harbour. Right. Uh, obviously we've introduced Fiona, our lovely first female harbour master, and this is our assistant harbour master, or secondary harbour master? Assistant, deputy. Deputy. I think. The head man when she's no in charge. <laughs> it's uh, denim. I think the idea is it just goes down as a part time harbour master. Part time harbour master. Yeah, but anyway, they do an excellent job here at Dunbar because the guys are like wee kids and honestly, these are the parents and these, they send sort of everybody out, I tell you. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to uh, leave them in peace now because I think I've embarrassed them enough and we'll, I'll catch you in a wee bit. Creels, creels, creels everywhere. As you can see, there's still quite a lot of um, swell in the harbour. Of course, everything's all going to happen. There's a lull just when we're going up for Kayla, eh? <laughs> Can't write it, honestly. Never mind. We'll, we'll get back to the actually working the crews uh, soon enough. As soon as there's a, there's a weather window that I've got time to do it. <laughs> Sam's net. Now for the guys, um, this is the better ones of the lot that are actually fishable. The rest of them are away on the stores getting repaired. I mean, the Dunbar fishermen got right swished to that easterly lake. There's another one swished. Look, not like that. Oh dear. And it's great when it comes up in a big bundle like that. <laughs> that takes some sort of out and it's no very nice uh, when it's like this. Look at James's gear. Yeah, I'm saying Dunbar men didn't get very lucky, but we got luckier than what the Fife men done, that's for sure. Poor Fife side got a right hammer, in fact, quite a lot of them didn't even get out a week and a half, two weeks later. 
to actually collect, uh, see if they had any gear left, never mind collecting gear. See your rubs. Pew. Same again. Battered. Absolutely battered. Mere big piles. And look, these ones have been sorted. So at least they can make another couple of fleets up with what they have and then fix the rest. That's the sort of idea. But then you get some lucky guys that have brought their gear in quickly. This is the guys that have brought them in in October. End of October, beginning of November, some of them. And most of them are okay. All sitting there, lovely. Do, 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 do. Hey, so I'm going to go around now and uh, check the boat and see if she's sitting okay, etc, etc. Maybe give her a wee pump out, you know that she needs much, much pumping out. But there we are, guys. Hey, I'll catch you there. Anyway, guys, if anybody's interested, this little boat's up for sale. £12,500 or nearest offer. Nice little starter boat. The owner spent a lot of money getting it um, through its MCA and getting everything all sorted out. And price of licenses are not cheap nowadays, my goodness. Oh, it's like walking in the winter wonderland. <laughs> Woo! Also, yellow boat up for sale. Retirement sale this one though, so that's not so bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Davey's going to be retiring, so he would like to just sell this thing. He priced on application, I do believe. And I must admit, it's a fantastic sea boat. He's been out in some hairy weather, I would say. 
uh, and the boat handled it like a dream. So yeah, if anybody's interested, find it or find a fishing boat. Yeah, there we are. I'll do my little bit for advertising in Dunbar. Same with that other boat, find a fishing boat, all the details are on there. Uh, yeah, there's still quite a bit of swell out there guys, there really is. Yeah, oh, hold <laughs> uh, So yes, even, it's amazing, right, there's a, there's a thing. It's amazing how many people disappear from the harbour when the weather's not so nice. Uh, yeah. Well, I've just been told that I can keep the Lindsay B there too, which is good because that means I can get out quick because it's a deeper part, the tide comes in quicker, and it's all because I think that boat there or that boat there is going in where the Lizzie B was because Harbour Trust doing something about all this mess. Uh, they're going to be building back up the breakwater and they're hopefully going to be getting rid of all this rubble. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, top news, top news. Um, there's a little happy hour. Oh. There's that gorgeous Lindsay B. Which we all call Blesser. I'm not sure I'm putting my feet. <laughs> a bit cold. There's a lovely sea breeze. It's not quite standing here, eh? Right, we'll uh, go down and give the boat a little pump out, shall we? <sighs> Deck's like an ice rink. So guys, to finish off this vlog, I hope you can hear me okay because uh, the tractor's going in the background and that. Uh, I'll quickly want to talk to you about Beta Marine and how I'm going to big them up because I phoned this order in yesterday and it's here today. Wow. This is service... This is service parts for uh, the engine. Obviously we uh, serviced the engine the other day and I needed to replace the parts. Now just to put it in perspective for you. Um, after expenses, I made £127 last week for three days' work because that's all the weather would give us. This box here, £174. It's just some of the things that you've got to do. It's, it's hard going, it really is hard going, especially in winter time when you're only getting a weather window a day here, a day there. You have to catch, and if you don't catch, you don't earn the money, you don't earn the money, you got uh, day pay. Uh, that's the whole thing about fishing. One day you could be eating like kings with your steaks and your your pushed buns and all the rest of it, and next year on beans on toast. <laughs> and sometimes the beans on toast can last for like six weeks. <laughs> but hey, that's the job we do. Uh, it's our own fault. 
I mean, we love the job, but it's just all the political BS that goes through it to keep those government ones in jobs. But we're not going to talk about that because we want to keep this channel positive, don't we? We do. So guys, if you like this, whatever this vlog is, please give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down and let us know why. That would be most helpful. Um, if you've got any comments, leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel, which always helps. Until you're on the next vlog, my friends, all the very best.